Hello and welcome to Math 200 Online Statistics at Kenyatta College. My name is Ray Lapus. In this video, we will do a homework problem from section 11.3. It says that the accompanying table shows the result of challenged referee calls in a major tennis tournament. Using a .05 significance level, test the claim that the gender of the tennis player is independent of whether the call is overturned. So this is a test for independence. The gender of the tennis player is independent or whether the call is overturned uh, is the first choice. And then the alternative hypothesis is saying that it's not independent. So I think that's uh, the clearest option here. Let's select that. Uh, in order to compute some of these things that we need to compute, we'll need to take a look at the data set. Uh, and we will copy that into StatCrunch. So here is our StatCrunch. We have um, a contingency table that has two columns and two rows. And uh, we will do the hypothesis test for this as a test for independence. Uh, let's go to Stat, Table, Contingency, and then with the actual summary that's already summarized for us in the table. The columns that we want are the successful and unsuccessful challenges, so we'll select those columns. The rows that we want happen to be men and women, but they are under this other header that doesn't really have a header name. Uh, let us, we can find the row and the column percentage, but let's, uh, I'm more interested in the expected count. Let's select that, although that is not really that necessary. And then we're doing a hypothesis test. That's a chi-square chi test for independence. So that's the only thing we're going to select here. Uh, there are a few other things that we can just ignore, and let's go ahead and do the computation. So this output gives us a new table where the expected counts are in parentheses. So if that's ever needed, we can find that. We also have the column and row totals, and the grand total is 1810. Okay. Uh, I don't think any of our problems will be asking for these values, but let us capture the, um, the chi-squared uh, test statistic. So that's 8.215. Our test statistic is 8.215. And then our p-value, if we take a look at that, it's uh, 0 0.0042. And 0 0.0042 looks like it's less. It's less than the significance level, uh, so we will reject the null hypothesis. Uh, there is sufficient evidence to reject the claim that um, the claim that it's independent. So let's look for sufficient evidence to warrant the rejection of the claim that male tennis players are more successful in overturning. Uh, well, that wasn't really the claim. Let's try C. There is sufficient evidence to warrant the rejection of the claim that the gender of tennis player is independent. Okay, so this is it. Now, all we're saying is that they're independent. It doesn't mean that males are going to get more than females. Uh, their calls turned over. And so that uh, will require a different kind of test. In our class, we're only testing that uh, uh, our, our column totals and our, our rows and columns are independent. So uh, we'll just select this. Okay, I hope that helps.